Hey, welcome back to the channel everyone and sheesh do we have an episode for you guys today So many juicy parts I got on this list for you guys So first we'll be starting off with the tire lettering I added these tire letters from an idea I had way before I even had this car Then after that we're going to be installing a 9 pin street aero diffuser kit I get asked this a lot Where did you buy? How much was it? Is it hard to install? Why is it black? Would it fit my Prius? How much horsepower does it give you? Does it come with a turbo? Well Stay tuned to find out. After that, we're gonna be painting and installing a GT lower grill and a front bumper lip extender. After that is a juicy liquid vinyl front bumper lip splitter. You're gonna be surprised about how I was able to acquire that. Moving on to some dope GT500 side skirts. I got off eBay for an amazing price. Just had to get them. They look aesthetically pleasing. And to top off the video, I went and added a Toyo tire windshield strip banner just to compensate the tire lettering. I hope y'all enjoy this build very much. I've been driving this car for about two weeks now and the amount of attention and the heads you turn is insane. But enough of me talking, let's just go ahead and roll the clips and let them do the talking, shall we? Let's go. So first, we're gonna be installing these permanent tire letters I got off eBay for about 40 bucks. Great quality letters for the price, in my opinion. It comes with instructions, some sort of glue, some gloves for protection, and well, the tire lettering. Go ahead and remove your tire. Right off the bat, I started cleaning the tires with acetone. The package does not provide it. You could find one of these cans at Walmart for about 10 to 12 bucks, and it'll last you a lifetime, depending on how often you use it. After cleaning, you apply the glue provided with the kit, and you start laying them out. Hold for about 15 to 12 seconds, and if done correctly, you should get a result similar to this. Next, we're going to be installing this rear diffuser kit from Street Arrow. By the way, if you guys are watching this, I just want to say that the packaging was amazing. Very well protected, as you guys can see. We have some hardware, some decals they sent us, pretty cool, some sweet instructions, and a discount code just in case I want to shop with them again. Each fin comes individually numbered to fit the corresponding fin. Very easy to build and self-explanatory. My nephew was the one who actually put it all together. Yeah, it was that easy. As of the installation process, I would recommend you having a second person to help you hold up the diffuser against your bumper. Moving on to this GT grill I was able to acquire for free. It was a bit damaged, so I went and applied some 3M glue to repair it, as you can see. Left it overnight to cure, and it came out solid as a rock. We're also going to be painting this bumper lip extension. Also came in matte black, like the grill we previously saw. Go ahead and start prepping your parts for paint and create a wave. Make sure you also let the paint dry and cure for a few minutes before hitting the next coat and rinse and repeat. After you're done with the paint work, let the pieces cure for about a day in a room temperature area. Then after that process is done, you can go ahead and start installing those juicy parts to your S550.
All right, pause real quick. A little backstory on this splitter. I actually traded a rear diffuser kit I got off eBay for around 50 bucks for this $300 liquid vinyl front bumper splitter. It was insane. I kind of forgot the dude's name, but if I ever run into him, I'll be sure to throw him some love his way. By the way, he also drive S550, and that thing is murdered out, honestly. But anyways, back to the video, y'all. All right, y'all. Now that we're done with the grill and the bumper lip, we can go ahead and start on the chin splitter. It is gonna be pretty challenging. I am doing it alone. I was gonna ask my brother to come help me out, but he's at he's at work right now, so. I'm gonna try and do my best to get some really good measurements out of this, because I already have an extended bumper lip on this, so it's gonna look super aggressive. I know it's gonna look super insane when I'm done with it. Hopefully the sunlight stays as it is for the next hour or so. Sun starts going down like around four, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started and, and see what happens. All right, so this is how it's looking. So I have the, the bumper lip and then I have the bumper lip splitter. I made sure I, I put an extra reinforcement on that, but I didn't know I was gonna run into this problem, but that is not an issue. You see this? about an inch of this splitter sticking out under the fender liner that that rubs on the tire this night i turned the car on and i started moving the wheel around because i sort of thought i was gonna run into that problem and i did what i'm gonna have to do i'm gonna have to trim about an inch of this entire side and the other side but this grinder that i just bought at walmart it was super cheap bro it was like 20 bucks and then i bought this blade for another three dollars so everything came out to about 24 bucks we're about to put this baby to the test This is how it came out. Things look sick. This is how it looks from the back. It's <laughs> not structured too well, but it doesn't hit, so that's good. Whiskey! My neighbor's dog. This side. This is the side that came out really nice. Like I said, I already took it for a test drive. Turned the wheel all the way. It does not hit, so that is amazing. These GT500 side skirts couldn't have been any easier to install. It took me about 30 minutes to install, maybe even less, but super straightforward. All the hardware provided goes connected to your existing OEM side skirts. Then I went and added this Toyo Tire windshield banner just for looks. Pretty cheap and great quality if you ask me. And well, this is how the Stang is currently looking like. Yo, have you made it to the end of the video? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this Mustang build, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or link parts, you can go ahead and check that down in the description below. But yeah, you guys, every time I come outside, I see this beast and I'm like, holy. Like, I still can't believe I own this. I do have a few more surprises. We all got our stimulus check last night. I made a pretty big purchase. It's uh, from Carbon Creations. That's going to be a pretty fun install. And I also got another surprise for the next video. As you can see, I'm wearing a motocross uh, shirt. And um, something behind there, a little hidden, right? But um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. Just want to say one more thing, guys. My advice to you is just do whatever the you want if you're afraid of investing into something educate yourself if you're afraid somebody's gonna say something that contradicts your ideas i'll give you an example i would never be where i am today with any of my projects any of my investments if i listened to that friend that said oh you know that's not gonna look good oh hey that's gonna look kind of gay everything comes out of my creativity and it's led me to a lot of cool projects and the mustang being an example you know we're just gonna keep going we're gonna keep making more projects and uh this other little project that i have right here is the next one but we are going to be hitting more car meet that's going to be super fun man the amount of eyes that you get on on your vehicles is crazy but um i'll go ahead and leave that for another video i thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you here on the next one
Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus.